So we're kneeling behind the Case 500 and I'd like to introduce our new closing wheel arm coupler. It basically, basically consists of two parts. You've got the coupler, as you can see here, with a hex on it. It has a D-shaped hole in the end and an 11 degree tapered end here on this side. The other part of the coupler is, a, is an axle that also has an 11 degree angle on it. And the axle basically inserts into the coupler by means of the D-shaped uh, hole you can see here. The axle also has a D on it and the axle basically inserts into the coupler. So as you rotate the coupler, it actually changes the angle of the axle. Okay, and there's a reason for that. A lot of the, a lot of the 500s or 500Ts or New Holland equivalents, the 2080 or the 2085, are really struggling to close the seed slot consistently, especially in higher moisture soils, clay soils, higher moisture silt soils, or combinations of the above, principally because the tail, the closing wheel arm tail, basically doesn't have enough closing wheel angle or compound angle to close the seed slot in a lot of soils. And here's a good example. You can see on the right hand side, we're looking at a 20 point wheel with no down pressure compared to all of the other wheels across to the left hand side using the standard uh, four by 12 inch tires with maximum down pressure, none of them are closing the seed slot. So basically what we've been able to offer is a closing wheel coupler and axle. It basically screws into the tube on the closing wheel arm. So basically just screw it on. And once you get it on, you're gonna insert the wheel of your choice. In this example, we're gonna insert a Martin 20 point wheel. We're just gonna hand tighten the nut onto the axle for reasons of time limitations. All right, so as I rotate this coupler, you can see the angle of the closing wheel changes. And maximum gathering action or maximum closing is obtained when the set screw is pointing straight backwards. As you move the coupler downwards, as you can see, you've got less gathering action on the assembly. So you can basically tailor adjust the angle of the closing wheel based on your soils, your soil moisture, your soil type, uh, whether you're no-till, whether you're conventional, and add the wheel of your choice. So a pretty simple little device. Obviously, when you get the angle selected that you want, you basically snug up the lock nut, and then, adjust, and then tighten up the locking set screw to lock it all in position. And we basically got a general set of recommendations now based upon our field experience. Uh, with different wheels and different soil types to let growers know approximately where they need to set it up initially. And once they set it up in most of their soils, unless their soil conditions change very significantly uh, from no-till to conventional, we found that a given set of settings for those conditions is pretty much all they need. So we've got some good, good recommendations, but a good design. We've been testing it this year and it's been working pretty well. So we've been evaluating different wheels on the back of the 500 uh, case air seeder using a coupler. And this is a two by 13 inch smooth wheel, two, two steel wheel halves. This one's actually working pretty well in what we consider to be looser soils or medium moisture soils. And it actually works quite well in those environments. And we found that you have to set it at close to maximum angle, which is when the set screw is pointing straight backwards. So this wheel assembly works real good, looser soils, uh, medium moisture. The standard wheel, the four by 12 that comes on most of these uh, 500, 500 T's, 2080 and 2085's, has a double rib with a little bit of relief here in the middle. This wheel we found really only works good in looser soils, soils with loose soil on top, drier soils or conventional tillage conditions. That's really where this wheel works. In higher moisture soils, even with maximum down pressure, it really struggles to close the seed slot. Right here, we've got the Martin 20 point wheel and hub. Uh, we found that this works really well in higher moisture clay soils. It chips in that sidewall, works really good. However, in looser soils or conventional soils, it can be too aggressive on this cedar with this particular spring. Even with the spring fully released, meaning the spring is down on top of the tube, fully disengaged out of the different uh, uh, holes to lock it in, 
it still can be too aggressive on the looser soils. But again, this configuration works really good in firm no-till or moist clay soils especially. We have added some spacers as, as you see here, uh, just to get it out a little bit further away from the seed slot. In certain soils we've found that to be beneficial. So that's a little input on some of the wheels that we've been testing.